What kind of farm food are we eating when it looks like this outside? Winter has definitely come to Ohio. We have, after having a pretty mild December, we have low temperatures and high winds and a bit of snow out there. Um, the gardens are completely covered in ice and snow, thankfully, over a really thick layer of mulch. Everything is just resting for winter, but the animals are still here. They're well cared for. My girl Honey shows up every day with fresh milk for me, so I venture out every morning with my bucket through the snow, and it is truly magic. I've been doing this for years now. It never gets old. She is amazing and the absolute queen of the farm. So today I am working with a few partial gallons of milk to make some homemade ricotta. I am a ricotta junkie, um, so I make it pretty often. It's very easy. You should absolutely make ricotta at home. You can do it with store-bought milk. Just don't use ultra pasteurized milk because it won't set up the same. So I'm skimming the cream off the top because the cream, its higher purpose is butter. So I'll be making butter with that. And then I'm using the skim milk and I'll end up with about a gallon of skim, which I am just dumping into a nice big pot. We are ready to go here. So I have my gallon of milk in my pot. I am just adding a cheese making thermometer. You can use any culinary thermometer. Um, if you don't have a thermometer, you can still do this. Just watch this like a hawk because if you have ever warmed milk on the stovetop and you're anything like me it boils over it makes a huge mess it's a pain to clean up so um, and it can happen as soon as you turn your back so we're going to stir in two teaspoons of salt and i'm going to stir this really regularly until it comes up to about 180 185 degrees if you don't have the thermometer you're looking for bubbles it's going to start to look like it's going to boil over and right before it does, you're gonna take it off the heat. But keep stirring, you want your salt to dissolve. And then here I am, it's about 185 degrees here. So I'm turning my burner off, take it off of the burner. And I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a final stir, make sure nothing is scorched on the bottom. Now I'm gonna add one third of a cup of lemon juice and one fourth of a cup of vinegar. I've used just vinegar and I've used just lemon juice and you certainly can do that. I just really like this combination a lot. And when you pour it in, you wanna stir it immediately and get that really well incorporated and you will notice the curds of the ricotta starting to form right away. So now I am just going to put a lid on this and let it rest for about eight minutes. And that eight minutes is gonna let those curds form so that we can really easily strain them out from the whey. I have a bowl here. We're catching the whey because there's still a lot of protein in there. Um, so we'll feed that to animals. Nothing goes to waste here on the farm. That's something I say a lot. Um, if you don't have animals, you can compost this. It's great for the garden. So I have a bowl with a colander and then lined with a cloth or cheesecloth if you have one. And you can see the ricotta in there. It's beautiful. So I'm just carefully going to strain that out. This is a mesh strainer. Um, you can use a lot of things to do this and if you don't have a tool like a strainer then you just want to carefully pour out the way through your cloth and just keep going until you get all of the curds out these look really beautiful and we want to strain out some of the whey, but not all of it. If you strain out too much it's going to be really dry um, if you're making a lasagna or maybe a stromboli or something you want it to be on the drier side. You can also always add a little bit of whey back in or even some cream if it gets a little too dry for you. So I'm going to let this rest just for a couple of minutes until it's the consistency I want. You can also taste it, see if it needs more salt and add that if it's needed. I am going straight in and I'm going to sneak a snack for myself and put some of this over some sourdough toast and then drizzle with honey and sprinkle a little bit of coarse salt 
on top. If you've never tried that, you definitely should. Um, and then the rest of it, I'm just going to put in the refrigerator. We're going to make a some stromboli later for all of our kids for dinner. And that's it. Homemade ricotta. It's so simple. I hope you guys enjoy. Please let me know down in the comments if you make this at home and what you serve it with. And I hope you guys subscribe and come back next time.